Okay, let's take you to Canberra now for more on the ongoing controversy over former Prime Minister Scott Morrison's multiple ministries. Our political reporter Tom Lowry is at Parliament House. Tom, good morning. So there's talk about an inquiry into all of this. What would any inquiry actually look like? Yeah, Michael, after the week that we've had, it's probably not a huge surprise to hear that there are plenty of people calling for a more in-depth look into what's gone on. It's really just a question now of what form that inquiry might take. Now, the Greens are floating the idea of an inquiry from the Privileges Committee, which is actually a fairly powerful parliamentary committee that would look into whether or not the former Prime Minister misled Parliament in taking on these five additional portfolios but telling so few people about it. There are also questions too as to whether or not this might be a matter for a future integrity commission that's proposed to be established by the federal government. But the government's actually saying that's reasonably unlikely because it probably doesn't meet the definition of serious and systemic corruption that it's looking at. The former resources minister, Keith Pitt, he's backing the idea of a royal commission. Now, of course, he's an interesting player in all of this because he was the former resources minister who had his portfolio effectively duplicated by the former Prime Minister, so that Scott Morrison could intervene and cancel a controversial exploration licence proposed off the coast of New South Wales. Now, Mr Pitt is not backing calls for Scott Morrison to resign from Parliament, but says he does like the idea of a Royal Commission to look at this and all other issues surrounding the management of the pandemic. Here's a bit of what he had to say last night. He's elected by the people of Cook, as, as I am by the people of Hinkler. Uh, I mean, this is how our constitution works. This is how you're elected to the parliament. It's entirely a decision for Scott uh, and the people that he represents. Fundamentally, I stand by the decisions we made uh, throughout the COVID pandemic. They are the right decisions based on the information we had at the time. And as I said earlier, I'd, I'd welcome an inquiry. Now, Michael, you will have heard during the week Scott Morrison apologising to those former colleagues that he failed to inform about taking on these five additional portfolios. But Prime Minister Anthony Albanese says that's simply not enough. The, the former Prime Minister has to apologise to the Australian people. Here's a bit of what he had to say earlier. I'm also somewhat surprised that there's been no uh, concept that there's a need to uh, say to the Australian people uh, that the wrong thing was done here in undermining our Westminster system of parliamentary democracy, but people will make their own judgment. Now, Michael, the next thing to look out for is a report from the Solicitor General. That's the nation's second highest legal officer who's been tasked with looking into the legalities around all of these arrangements. That report is due back on Monday. Tom Larry, thank you so much.